Welcome once again to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash and what we have is the Misuzu VG10 Bunka 160mm knife. So this same knife is basically available on a different steel. This is an upgraded version with a little bit uh, nicer steel VG10 full stainless for the core and uh, heat treats around 60 Rockwell. It's not really specified but, but 60 is probably where that's at. The construction is soft stainless cladding on either side of that core steel, which looks like it does wrap around the top of the spine. And you can see the cladding line right there. We'll get a close-up of it. The weight and dimensions on these can vary just a little bit, but uh, the weight on this one is 100 grams or 3.5 ounces. Edge length is 157 millimeter or 6.2 inches. Overall length about 295 millimeters. Spine thickness. So these are pretty well uh, just cut and probably ground and you know laser cut and ground to shape so this is just about 1.9 all the way down you get that kind of reverse sword tip there and you can see the grind is pretty generous on these so the tip does thin up quite nicely with that grind and then here's what the choil shot looks like so these are good performing knives they do a nice job on them uh, they've got a little bit of a shoulder right here on both sides. Uh, this particular one feels like the shoulder might be a little more abrupt on the left side, uh, but every knife's going to be a little bit different. Uh, so these do have pretty good food separation and um, food release when you get above that shoulder. The uh, blade height on this one is 48.6, so these tend to be a little bit high. They've got this back swept choil or heel to it, so it gives you a little extra length. Um, the Let's see here. The handles are D-shaped, and it, I think it's dyed wood or stained wood. It's pro it's pretty light, so it's probably like a hoe wood or magnolia wood. And you've got a resin or plastic ferrule sleeve that comes over the top. It is normal for them to have this kind of ridge here. The sleeve fits over the top, and then you'll have that kind of hump over to the wood. That's pretty normal for these. And then glue up. You always want to check the glue up. This, this one's pretty tight. Looks like it's pretty good with no gaps in there. But just a lightweight handle. I'm a lefty and D handles, D shaped handles don't bother me at all. Some people, you know, they're technically oriented around a right hander as far as how it falls in your, in the crook of your fingers there. But um, as a lefty, I really doesn't bother me too much either way. The handle circumference right where this wood stops here is about 73 millimeters. Balance point on these, despite the fact that it's a small blade being the light handle is going to be right about there. So it's just in front of that choil. So a little bit behind a pinch grip. Uh, so it's the weight balances just a little bit towards the handle on a pinch grip. So this knife would work well for pinch. Uh, it's got a nice little spot here. They've done a little bit of relief on it. Uh, the edges of the spine. There, the, the right side is a little bit on the sharp side. The left side not quite so much. But you could easily tweak any of this stuff with 10 minutes with some sandpaper strips if that if even 10 minutes so uh, let's take a look out of the box edge uh, I give it about a five maybe six out of ten it was these are pretty sharp usually out of the box this steel will get nice and sharp uh, this does have what looks to me to be genuine hand engraved kanji hand chisel kanji uh, it does have the little raised feel to it, it definitely looks hand engraved and you can see it actually does kind of bump through the other side a little bit so really nice touch on that this blade is fairly stiff uh, the previous incarnation of this with the other steel I, uh, I can't remember the steel offhand so I'm not even going to say what I think it might be but uh, got a lot of good recommendations from uh, professionals and professional kitchens these can make really good line knives detail knives uh, they're good in a home kitchen. They're pretty versatile. They've got some height to them. Uh, so that's a really really cool knife and it's nice that they've done this in the uh, upgraded steel. Here's your cladding line and there's your grind area. This is the left side of the, oh, excuse me, the right side of the blade. Here is the left side of the blade. Uh, what else? So I guess we'll just look at the cutting board. These have a fairly flat profile, just a little bit of belly to them. So really good choppers. They do a nice job on uh, draw cuts as well. 
But here's what the profile looks like. Just a little bit of belly. This is not going to be a rocker. I can get in there before I start digging the tip in. So you could rock over small stuff like scallions and that kind of stuff. But you're not going to do anything big with this profile. But just a little bit of belly there. Uh, really good chopper. And for those other types of techniques. But definitely not really oriented on rocking. But just a cool knife. Uh, again... Proven package, uh, a lot of people really like this package, like this blade style, and it's very versatile. And so they've taken that and upgraded the steel a little bit, so what's not to like? So this is the Misuzu VG10 Bunka 170mm knife.